Hi, and welcome to our video of Battle Abbey in East Sussex. Probably one of the most important sites in British history, but we'll get to that a little later. Why not subscribe so you don't miss any of our future travels too? So Battle is in the southeast of England, in the beautiful county of East Sussex. Despite being the site of the Battle of Hastings, it's six miles northwest of Hastings itself. It's easy to get to by train, and it's also very easy to drive to. So let's start at the entrance, the Great Gate House. This imposing 14th century building is the entrance to the English Heritage Site. For members entry is free. For everyone else I'll drop a link in the description below so you can check out the current pricing. Within the Great Gatehouse is an exhibition hall, plus you can also access the top of the tower. Let's check that out now. This is the town of Battle to the north. We'll cover this in more detail in a later video. To the south is Abbott's House, which is now Battle Abbey Prep School, and beyond that the battlefield. Back on terra firma, we followed the path alongside the precinct wall before reaching the abbey ruins. The original abbey was built by William the Conqueror as penance ordered by Pope Alexander II for the death and destruction caused during the Norman invasion of England. We're now looking at the ruins of the Benedictine monks dormitory. We can blame Henry VIII for the state of the place. After his spat with the Pope, he embarked upon the dissolution of the monasteries. With Battle Abbey, he gave it to a friend who turned the abbot's house into his own country home and went about demolishing the church. Underneath the dormitory is the vaulted common room for the novice monks. As I said, the abbot's house survived and is now the independent Battle Abbey School. For those that don't know, the original church's high altar was to be built on the spot that the defeated Harold fell. There's been some debate about the exact location, but now a stone marks the spot. There's one part of the original church that is still visible, and that's the remains of the ancient crypt. Remember, this is over 900 years old. As you explore further afield you'll discover the dairy, the old ice room and the later addition of the 19th century walled garden. It's now time to explore the battlefield, and as I said before, this is where England and the English language change forever. Once the Normans invaded, 
the Anglo-Saxon, with a splash of Norse of Old English, started to incorporate words like pork, beef, royal, majesty, judge, the list goes on, and the ruling classes of England spoke French. Anyway, back to the present. As you can see, there are wonderful car figures, detailed information boards, and there's also an audio guide you can download to your phone. I guess surprisingly, the battle only lasted a day. That was October the 14th, and you know the year, 1066. The walk around the battlefield takes about an hour. Give or take, we're all different. And this was filmed on a beautiful day in mid-September. Now this surprised us, some grazing sheep, but they didn't seem too bothered by us and we just went on our way. As you probably noticed, there's a touch of gradient in the walk, but it's not too severe. So on this field, English and Welsh history changed forever. For more on that, check out Marcus's videos on Welsh castles over at Fly Drive Explore. I really hope you like what we've put together. We'd love to hear from you, so please leave a comment. And if you like, then give us a big thumbs up. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much, and take care.